champion Steve Claridge has played in the Premier League, Football League, Conference, Southern League, you name it. Uh, Steve, your initial reaction to what's been said today? Um, well, I, I, I just don't get it. I don't, there's so many things that are... Uh, don't make sense. I'm just trying to try, trying to get the youngsters through. So playing in the conference, and playing in League One and League Two, we're going to get the the youngsters through to to Premiership sides. Not going to happen. Feeder clubs. Um, who, who are you going to choose as your feeder club? And surely that's going to be an unfair system for someone just to join up and then have the, the say so over your club. History, tradition. We, we we talk about Glenn Oddle saying about Spain. Spain is not like England. Spain hasn't got a second division that has the fifth highest attendance. It hasn't got a club like Portsmouth getting watched by 18,000 people in Spain at their lowest division. Mm. Um, why should they come in above the conference? Why, why, why are you providing another league between the conference and the league? I bet it'll be three up, three down as well. Their conference haven't got three up, three down no, two up at, at this stage. No, two up at the moment. And that's yeah. the point being made. There's uh, so many things that are wrong with what he's saying and don't make sense. What's ro- wrong with the loan system? What's wrong with the history and tradition of the smaller clubs? It's just this, is, this has got such an elitist look to it think of the reaction that's that's come to the reports well I, I think it's expected um but i think you know you have to read the full report uh, and go through it it's 82 pages long you know just on this front alone it is incredibly detailed there's an awful lot of research what we have done we've gone out and we have listened to what the clubs want how they want to promote their their young players have you at, at all levels danny because i know that there was some talk that perhaps the conference hadn't been involved in this that some of the the football league clubs have come out and tweeted today saying that you know they had no part in this well greg clark is part of the commission um they you know he, he's you know pretty much you know there he's the representative of the football league roger burnden is in charge of um non-league football you know a, a board member so he he's been involved all the way through you know, well, I'm sorry, mate. That's not how it works. This is so. You, you, you haven't asked. I'm telling you now. You might have asked the Premiership. You might have asked some of the Championship. But asking some a voice voice person for the lower leagues is not asking the lower leagues, mate, because they're all different. Everyone has different ways of looking at it. I'm sorry. Asking one person to speak for every division for the lower leagues is not. That's not okay. Okay. The whole control, mate. You can't go to another club and tell them how to run their football club. Well, so let, that's, let's that's let's, let's have a happen, look at Tottenham mate. and Swindon. What's happening well, there? at the moment I'm not, you know, Tottenham don't send people down there and go this is how you train our kids they, they've got a certain way of playing no, but, you, you, but you, build up a partnership. you build up a partnership that helps both teams right so what happens about the other teams then Dan who aren't build it up in a partnership how does that level the playing field so everyone will be after Man United what happens to the teams that haven't got that partnership how's that fair on those teams that haven't built up that partnership when you've got one that's just loaning team players eight and ten players whenever they want it and another team is left high and dry and haven't got anybody that they can turn to ten years we'll probably have five percent of English players playing in the Premier League or starting the Premier League games that means the England team will be made up of championship players that means they won't start to qualify for tournaments they'll be out how does that affect the football pyramid how does that affect aspirations how does that affect the economy and the feel good factor Do, let's have a look at the Spanish B team all the players that came through Spanish B teams nearly every single member of the Spanish squad came through the B team system nearly every single member of the German squad came through the BT system but B, did they B-team have a system. strong leagues lower down as we have in this country they don't need to. Sometimes they, they get kicked off the park. Okay. Me, Messi, Messi started as a 16-year-old, I think, in, uh, in, in the B team. How, how, how would you deal with them? What, what would you have done? Well, I'll tell you what, Danny. This, what you, you mentioned Spain earlier. Um, and look, we, we've never met, so there's no... no no, of course, no, no, not, not a problem but, at all. But, but you know, you mentioned Spain earlier. Spain have got twenty-four thousand um, UEFA licensed coaches. We've got less than three thousand in this country. You know, I'm not so sure if it's actually the B structure in Spain that, that makes makes the players tick there, or whether it's the coaching structure. And I don't, I, I disagree. I think teams, you know, in the conference or whatever, would like to go and play against Manchester United B. The players would. We're talking about foreign players mm. um, and why there are so many. Could we just have a look at how many foreign managers there are as well? Can we put a cap on that, maybe? And, and, and again, and, Steve, and, you can't, you can't do that, Steve. It's impossible. Well, I'm saying that that's the problem that we have, mate. You know, that's one of the problems that we have. Is there that are EU regulations look... and EU law stop you from no, doing no, so yeah. many things? Quotes. Yes, um, I'm a Cambridge United fan. We're going to Wembley um, a couple of weeks' time. Um, and if there was the system, there's no way that Cambridge United uh, would be able to get into that situation, into the playoffs in the first place. They'd be dominated by these Premier League sides. 
And the other thing on that is that Cambridge United and a lot of teams in the divisions around us have a very, very, very proud history. We don't want to have these B teams no. um, dominating our leagues. We don't want to turn up to those matches. Why would we care about Cambridge United versus uh, Hull City B team? It means nothing yeah. to us. It's a complete Absolutely. way of undermining our history. So many